I'm gonna get you for this. <laughs> <laughs> innocent. I am innocent. Uh, a moment to provide an update for all of our viewers because in one of the last videos we mentioned that we were going to have a little bit of a change of strategy. Oh yes we did didn't we? We did <laughs> but kind of left you all hanging <laughs> on what that was. We did kind of go over it in one of our live chats though. That's true. We have been searching for properties for what about nine ten months now a long time at the beginning of our search we were really looking at a whole bunch of different types of properties uh, small acreages with established houses established farms all the infrastructure we were looking at completely raw land with absolutely nothing on it and only had really two or three main main criteria mm -hmm. uh, one was a creek yep yeah, uh, there was 30 plus acres and then for you convenience 20 minutes away from um, a home improvement store and a grocery store yeah just hospital would also be nice but yeah, hospital. <laughs> yeah we recently went and looked at one that we did not film but we were it was our turning point I think mm -hmm. it was an established home move-in ready nothing wrong with the house it yeah. be beautiful it had a workshop uh, mm -hmm. two-car garage workshop on the property it was far back from the road mm -hmm. and it had a creek at the edge of the property mm -hmm. it really did check all of our boxes yep except for we it was it would have required us to go into finance. debt and finance it when we were thinking about what was important to us outside of the debt although this property checked the boxes there's something to be desired about building something ourselves mm -hmm and really making this our own. <laughs> We've now boiled it down to, we really want to have, like Katie was saying, a place that we fix up and we build our own. Mm -hmm. So it could have an old house that we have to rehab or it has no house. It could have an old barn we rehab or no barn and we build our own. And with that, we're, we're also okay with a smaller piece of property mm -hmm. with the mindset that it'll be a short term mm -hmm. project for us two, three, four, five years and make the improvements and sell it down down the road as long as we have a small initial debt-free purchase on it, yep. right? Or we find one that we feel we would want to be there for 20 plus years and we'll spend a little bit more on it, but still we want to be able to build and, and improve the land ourselves. Mm -hmm. That really appeals to both of us. Yeah, and it's just took, taken us a while to get there. Because I think it was, okay, here it is. Here's the property that has everything that we need. Yep. Do we really want to finance? Do we really want to do this? Is this going to fulfill what we're really looking to do? And yes, we could yeah. get out there and we could start farming immediately. We could start homesteading. We could start, I mean, animals ready to go. Just put up some fencing. Yep. But it just didn't feel right. Yeah. It really didn't feel right. Yay. So <laughs> this, this has helped us narrow down not only we, now we know what we're looking for mm -hmm. but it's also going to narrow down where we look because mm -hmm. we know that we're going to have to be living in our rv for the next couple of years yep. as we build so that means we need to now find counties and towns that are unrestricted mm -hmm. there are some that are loosely unrestricted where mm -hmm. you can still stay in your rv as long as you have a build permit yep. so it, we do have a few options but mm -hmm. this will now narrow where we yeah. where we focus our search knowing that it's not we're not looking for our forever home necessarily mm -hmm. so that i think gives us a little bit more freedom and takes a little bit more pressure off because that was for us it was like well yeah it has to be kind of perfect we mm -hmm. have to feel that because we want to live here forever and so now knowing that we're looking for something a little bit more temporary right. and something that we can bring back to life really mm -hmm. Um, we're okay with it not looking the way it's going to. We're open to the work to do it. It's yeah. just, it might be much smaller scale than what we had originally looked at. So we're open to, you know, anything over two to three acres mm -hmm. at yeah. this point. Yeah. Yep. And knowing that it's not 
that long-term place that we stay forever, we're okay removing some of the must-haves yep. too. Mm-hmm. So, yep. yeah. So I think that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, beyond that, we had a little bit of a deadline that we were coming up to the RV place that we're staying. Um, we only had until the 16th of May mm-hmm. before we had to move and find a different place to to live. That got extended until the end of May, so it gave us a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. But we do have to go find a place to park our RV for a while. We kind of want to have a, a base or a place that we that we kind of call home for a yeah. while. So that gives us some freedom to move around, maybe go explore some areas mm-hmm. for a couple of weeks at a time, but still have a place to come back to. Mm-hmm. So we are on the search for a place that we can park our RV long-term, experience the summers here, develop more of a community, more so than we have. So that's... That's our next... That's our next... <laughs> that's Immediate our next, need. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just to make sure we do have somewhere, because I do work full-time and I do have to have a Monday through Friday Um, place to be. Mm -hmm. So with that, we want to uh, say welcome to all of the new subscribers that recently came in from the Holler Homestead. Love to have you guys part of our channel and part of our our lives. And thank you so much to all of our existing friends, family, subscribers. We've really appreciated all of your support, Mm -hmm. uh, encouragement, and patience (laughs) with us as we have really kind of been on a a really a, a mindfulness journey, I think, mm-hmm. of what's really truly important to us. I'm hopeful that we will find something. Oh, we will soon, like yeah. this summer. Yeah. So. Well, me too. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're both itching to yeah put, put our, down roots, put down roots, and yep. get started on yep. on a bunch of projects that excite us. Yep. My little. You know, we haven't done in a while. Random facts. Whoa! How did you know? Because <laughs> I reminded like, you. <laughs> It's like you read my mind. <laughs> it's like I just told you, hey, we haven't done random facts in a while. All right. Do you have any random facts? Um, sure. You do? I'm going to go for it. Every summer when I was younger, probably from grade school on, I would be super, super excited because I would get to go to sleepaway camp and spend two weeks away from my brothers, really. But um, spend two weeks at Girl Scout camp or Awanas. Both I participated in and every time. Super excited to do that. So my random fact is I was the girl who cleaned out all the tents, took all the spiders out of them, and talked to all the girls who were scared and wanted to go home. And I just loved it and enjoyed it. And I always thought I'd grow up and be a camp counselor because I loved it so much. Mm. But never did. Nope. I love camp. Maybe that's why I love this RV living. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> My random fact is probably not so random. Our viewers have probably noticed. But I am super awkward and really shy. You're yes. shy? I am shy, yes. Yeah. I'm a very shy... Uh, <laughs> like, I like to talk to people, but I don't really... Don't like to make the first move? <laughs> uh, or the second or the third. Like, <laughs> it takes me a while. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite shy and definitely very awkward so hadn't noticed yeah no you haven't noticed because you're just as awkward <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know i just yeah super awkward anyway <laughs> that's my random fact for the day all right everybody thank you bye we thought we would take a moment to provide a little bit of an update on Bugs. our bugs seriously what he yeah. was coming, but he did not need his name called in the middle of my introduction. <laughs> <laughs>